walked along the Pacific Grove coast is an unassuming building with a 400 foot vibrant whimsical mural. This very spot is a really special, special spot. There's nothing else like it in this world. Ray Trolls, the artist behind the design. He flew in from Ketchikan, Alaska, fearing the new building owner may get rid of it. The mural is his largest artwork. I think it's really stood the test of time. 15 years later, it still looks really good. In 2007, he was commissioned to create the murals by Noah Fisheries, who used the building to study the marine life. The art reflecting that mission and the area's history. The Western Flyer, chartered by the famed writer John Steinbeck. A female Japanese diver known as Ama, who used to fish in the Monterey Bay. And even some hidden details. A pizza among the sardines. A halo for holy mackerel. It's actually pretty cool to watch people go by and just stop and look at the building. And that was my intention. But the future of the mural is up in the air. In 2022, the federal government sold the building at auction. Now the owner is rumored to want to turn it into a house. A volunteer group called Coast is trying to put it back in public ownership and turn it into an art and science center. They're trying to get it recognized as historically significant by the city. The city council has agreed and formed a sub subcommittee to find a historical consultant to do an independent evaluation of the historical significance of the building and the property. Prior to being a marine science lab, it was a naval air intercept training facility built in 1952. And to add, there's concerns the building stands on sacred ground to indigenous tribes under the Esalen Nation. Because of the art, um, it changed people's attitudes about this building. And um, I hope these murals can stay beyond my lifetime.